for all praises to Yahweh, Ba'asham, Yahweh Shai, Ba'asham Rakakwadash, which is ancient Paleo Hebrew for all praises to Yahweh, the Heavenly Father's only Hebrew name, the name of Yahweh Shai, his son's only Hebrew name. We want to give double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. All right, this is Brother Yawasap. This is Brother Yaramia. All right, we want to do a lesson um, primarily of the, on the word um, Matamawan, Matamawan, which means treasure in the Hebrew, right? And that's age for the 301. And the Spirit lead me to these precepts. And um, just want to go through them. You know, I mean, the, all these precepts don't have this same strong in it, but it's within the context of this lesson, all right? So, read Exodus 19 and 5 for me, Babu Shah. Yeah. Exodus 19 and verse 5. Now, therefore, if you will obey my voice indeed and keep my covenant, mm -hmm. that you shall be a peculiar treasure. Peculiar. Peculiar treasure, slap mm -hmm. unto me above all people for all the earth is mine mm. yeah so and you know this precept is a good start precept whereby we should be reminded um that we are peculiar treasure unto how about something of value right and this truth is a treasure this this wisdom and knowledge and understanding is a treasure right and that what that's what makes us a treasure because of how about i gave us this right and you know the most high, the most high word the most high word is above above everything above everything you know now we'll go to Deuteronomy 13 and 14 Baba Kusha start from uh, 12 maybe Deuteronomy 13 see um, start from Start from 10. Okay. Deuteronomy 30 and verse 10. If thou shall hearken unto the voice of Yahweh thy power uh -huh. to keep his commandments and his statutes which are written in this book of the law, and if thou turn unto Yahweh thy power with all thy heart uh -huh. and with all thy soul uh -huh. for this commandment which I command thee this day, it is not hidden from thee. Damn. Neither is it far off. Yeah, and the next precept after this will we'll, we'll expound through the Spirit. Go ahead. It is not in heaven mm -hmm. that thou should say, Who shall go up for us to heaven uh -huh. and bring it unto us that we may hear it and do it? Damn. That's it? Yeah, yeah go ahead, church. Ne Neither is it beyond the sea mm -hmm. that thou should say, Who shall go over the sea for us and bring it unto us that yeah. we may hear it and do it? Yeah. But the word is very high un nigh, nigh. nigh unto thee, which means near mm -hmm. okay. in thy mouth mm -hmm. and in thy heart that thou. Me, might uh, do, may us do it. May I do it. Yeah, so the word, the word is, is nigh in our mouth and in our hearts. Right? And, and, and in the kingdom, most I will put these, these precepts, as I fortify you, very true. Most I will put these precepts, this beautiful treasure within our inward parts, whereby we, you know, we, will, we will know the, the law, such as the commandments by heart, we would never go off. You know? This is Isaiah 5, 5 mm -hmm. and verse 3. And I will give thee treasures of darkness uh -huh. and hidden riches of secret places. You see that? And that's the um, treasures and riches, right? Eh? That's the treasures and which, uh, riches that was, that was, um, Yahweh was saying, Yahweh Shem Yahushai was saying in um, Deuteronomy 30, right? It's not hidden from us. Go ahead. Because he most like gave it to us. Go ahead. That thou mayest know that I, Yahweh, which call thee by thy name, uh -huh. am the power of Israel. Okay. So, slack, Yaku. 
Yeah, so this treasure help us to know that Yahweh Hashem Yahushai is the power of Israel, of, of, of his people alone, because look at look at the compare compare us to the heathens. You know, we don't partake or encourage folly to the extent I mean and we know the scriptures that say that um you know Israel has done more wickedness than the heathen, but we always come back. You know, because the scripture says in um, Genesis 18, 18, Mo Mosai told Abraham, for I know that Abraham will teach his children and his children will teach his children and so forth and so forth, you know. Um, go to uh, Proverbs chapter 2, verse 2 to 6, Bible for sure. This is Proverbs 2 and verse 2. So that thou incline thine ear unto wisdom and apply thy heart to understanding. Yeah. Which knits right back into it, right? We 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 um we have to incline our ears to wisdom and apply our hearts to understanding. That's a big word apply right there. Yeah. Yeah, if thou creed after knowledge, Christ. Christ. If thou criest. Christ after knowledge mm -hmm. thank you. And, and lift it and lift it up thy voice mm -hmm. for understanding if we lift up our voice for understanding we go back to verse 2 it says incline thy ear to wisdom as in listen to when listen to when spirit is speaking to us all right and if we cry us and if thou criest after knowledge and lift us up thy voice Thy voice for understanding, as in cry out for understanding, cry out for knowledge. It's like, it, don't let this knowledge get you puffed up and think because you know a few breakdowns, you know everything. But um, you know, as Job said, we know nothing. All right, brother. Yeah. Verse uh, four. If thou seeketh her as silver, uh -huh. and search and search it for her as hidden treasure. That's what we gotta do. We gotta search for this truth like hid treasures. It's wisdom, you know. And the search, the search don't end. The search ain't gonna end until, until we, we seek salvation, until we get saved from this wicked ass kingdom, brother. God. Then shall thou understand the fear of Yahweh, and find the knowledge of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. Okay. Then we gonna understand the fear. All right, because the fear of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai is the beginning of wisdom. All right. Go ahead. For Yahweh giveth wisdom out of his mouth, mm -hmm. cometh knowledge and understanding. Yeah, that's all that comes out of Yahweh. Wisdom and knowledge and understanding. The power of knowledge that we would not fully comprehend it if he didn't allow it or if we didn't seek it. And as his son Yahweh Shai said, our big brother, he said, um, Seek and ye shall find. You know? And that's how we seek him. To uh, Second Ezra chapter six verse five, I'll be sure. Yeah, because this truth, this truth is truly a treasure, you know. Because when we first come in this truth, we always say, I mean, we still think it that, like, like how 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 nobody can get this, how come nobody can understand because they ain't looking. And just the other day, I was telling somebody the same thing. It's like you only see, you only find things that you're looking for. You know, you don't stumble upon nothing. Nothing's by coincidence. I mean, you, I mean, sometimes you might not looking for something directly, right? But your spirit could be calling for it. Like I need something, but I don't know what it is. You know, brother. Can Second Ezra six and verse five. Mm -hmm. And here the present years were sort out. Mm -hmm. And and or ever ever and in the invention of them mm -hmm. that no no sin that no sin that no sins mm -hmm. like you were turned before they were sealed mm -hmm. that have gathered faith for a treasure Can. see ya? it says an air the present an air the present years were sought out all right or and or ever the inventions of them that now sin were turned before they were sealed 
that have gathered faith for treasure. So these men were searching out the present years, watching the times. That's what it means, all right? And or and or the inventions of them that not that that now sin were turned, right? As in um, judging them righteously by by seeing the sins of of them, right? Before they were sealed, they were gathered. Before they were sealed, that have gathered faith for a treasure. So we gather faith for a treasure. Our faith is is the um, the key to open that door of this 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 chest, this treasure chest, so to speak. Thank you. Yes, like you. All right. It's, it's it's amazing how how beautiful this truth is, boy. It's like you feel so you feel so different from everybody and everything. You know, you just stand out. Yeah, go ahead. Huh? Um, slack you. Read Matthew six verse nineteen to twenty one. Okay. This is Matthew chapter six and verse nineteen. Lay not. Lay not up for yourself treasures upon earth. Yeah, so we can't lay treasures upon this earth. Worldly things, physical things. We got to seek spiritual things, right? Pray for wisdom and understanding. Pray for, perceive what's the righteous thing to do. Pray to, to know how to please our father. To be, a good, to be a good son to him. To be a good father. To, to your children to be a good brother to the Akiyam you know to be a good to be a good um, husband and whatnot yeah because we gotta we gotta we gotta keep um pressing on you know keep going on can where mud and rust do corrupt mm -hmm. and where thieves break through and steal yeah cause just the other day Somebody ain't know how it's gonna break in. They sleep in sound and it get clean up. You know? Great art. Can. But lay up for yourself treasures in heaven mm -hmm. where neither mud nor rust do it corrupt. Mm -hmm. And where thieves do not break through nor steal. Can. So we gotta um, put forth our best effort to seeking spiritual things. Things that would things that would empower the spirit so that when 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 it's time for judgment, you know, we would receive mercy. Alright? That's the greatest treasure. Mercy. Mercy and then salvation. Brother? For where for where your treasure is, there will your heart be also. Can can. So so wherever your treasure is, there your heart will be also. So with that, we want to give our praises to Yahweh, Basham, Yahweh Shai, Basham Rakakwadash, which is the ancient people of Hebrew for Yahweh's heavenly, the Father's heavenly name and the Son's heavenly name, and in the Holy Spirit. I didn't say that at the beginning, Slakyo, which is a Rakakwadash, the wisdom and understanding these holy scriptures. And, um, you know, Shalom Akim until another time. Shalom.